So now let's go into rheumatoid arthritis itself. So when it comes to rheumatoid arthritis, you need to know what happens. Obviously, the joints are going to get affected, right? What is the most common joint to get affected? Small joints, but classically the first one is MCP, metacarpophalangeal joint is what's going to get affected, followed by PIP, proximal interphalangeal joint, never distal interphalangeal joint. That's the most important thing. But can rheumatoid arthritis affect pretty much any joint in your body? It can. And is this normally symmetrical? It is symmetrical, right? It's symmetrical. Is it inflammatory? It is inflammatory, okay? So small joints will be affected. It's symmetrical and a very classic feature that most of these patients not just rheumatoid arthritis, but pretty much all of rheumatology. When your joint is involved, you will have early morning stiffness for more than one hour. More than one hour, you will have early morning stiffness. As the day progresses, it will get better. So that's a very important key feature, not just for RA, but pretty much across the board. Okay, so joint involvement wise, apart from saying MCP PIP is affected, you can affect your thumb joints, you can affect your wrists, Right? You can also affect your cervical spine. Now, some of the classic features, which we don't see much anymore for rheumatoid arthritis, because we treat them well now compared to before, but what are some of the important features